guys today? Good, bad, normal. Before I start my speech, I want to introduce myself a bit. My name is Lung Up Hafeng, and I'm a student from Vin School Central Park. I want to ask you guys one question, one simple question. How many years old are you? Raise your hand if you are in the Generation Z or Z, whatever the way that people pronounce it. Yeah, a lot. So you are in the same generation with me. I was born in 2010, mean that the end of the Generation Z, and I'm now 14 years old. I think that I'm a plus girl. Why I think I'm a plus girl? Because living in this generation, this age, I have an opportunity to live in the world with technological advancement and modern towers building surrounding me. I have studied in an international school since I was in primary. Living this life, this school, device, and technology is the must thing in my daily life. Hey, ChatGPT, can you help me? Do you feel related? How many times have you heard this? For me, it's like a hundred times, a thousand times, or even I can't remember. Yes, this is what I call a crucial part in my daily life, especially in my education. I know you can guess it. It is artificial intelligence, or people call it AI. I don't know when, but AI tools such as ChatGPT, Gemini, or DeepSeek have soon become a friend that I've never met before living in a device. Globally, AI is like a turning point in the technology industry. It's like a hot baby with viral cord all over the social networks, with compliment but also controversy. But for me, AI is like a microwave relationship, suddenly appearing at any point in my life, school, and work. I use AI so many times that I can't even remember I use it for what specifically. AI is there for what? Use it. That is like what my friend always say whenever I'm too busy or struggling with homework or too many exams. For instance, I need to do my global IGCSE global perspective project or Vietnamese study project. I will ask AI to generate like an idea, like a brief overview for me, and then I will do the final slide and the final content based on that. Also, then, I will use Grammarly to maybe like fix my grammar because trust me, I have terrible grammar. According to a research conducted by Impact Research for the Wadden Family Foundation in the conjunction with the Institute of Learning Engineering AI Lab, 46% of teachers and 48% of students use AI at least weekly. And with students, the usage is up 27 percentage point from the last year. 70 percent of K-12 students uh, have a positive view about AI chatbot, and among college students, this increased to 75 percent. This number is so crazy, right? Because indeed, AI plays a significant role in improving learning efficiency by generating ideas, analyzing information, automating time-consuming tasks. For example, it will help me to summarize a video or a content of a website. And it will help me to focus on the most necessary, the most important task. My, not only that, my school is using a system called LMS. It stands for Learning Management System. I think this is really familiar with you guys because a lot of school system, student and teacher use it. Or maybe you have heard or seen this once in your life. So this system is simply help you to train, to analyze the course and also like the training content into training program. So this helped me and my teacher to connect, learn flexibly and regardless location and time. So I use the system almost daily to do my homework, to see the slide, the video, to see the announcement from the teacher, or even inbox to the teacher for help at home. So it's record my score, my personalize my learning experience, and record my progress to help me better because practice make perfect. And one day I recognize that this system is also based on artificial intelligence, or we can call AI. So the simple answers for all of this. 
AI is fast and effective, no denying. But what if this lovely, friendly friend turned into an alpha enemy that can replace us at any time? Yes, that's it, what we are all worrying about. According to a study from the University of Pennsylvania, the group of students that use ChatGPT during, during their exam preparation have 17% lower score than a group of students that did not use ChatGPT. So, the researchers point out that this is because the group of students that use ChatGPT, instead of trying to find the answers, we just type on ChatGPT to find the answer as soon as quick as possible, not far away. In my class, some of my classmates literally copy whole entire text to like from DeepSeek, Gemini, and also ChatGPT straight to the essay or also their homework. This is really dangerous because it can lead to dependence of AI, limited of creativity, thinking skill, critical skills, which are really essential for the future. And even more serious, it will lead to plagiarism. And if this continues to happen, what happens to us, the Gen Z and also Gen Alpha in the competitive world in the future? And according in fact, according to Vietnam Social Security, 2.3% of employment means that 75 million people in the world are at risk because of AI. So, a difficult question. Where are our position in maybe like 2045? That is the reason why we need to work smarter as well as harder every day. Huang Lam Ting, the former principal of FPT University, has mentioned that there are three things that AI cannot replace us. First is curiosity, second is creativity, and the last one is emotional intelligence, which is EQ. And I totally agree with that, because instead of fighting each other, we need to fight with each other to make the world better, to increase the people quality of life, and AI will be beside us as a supporter and a motivator. Hey Fern, what even happens? Never forget that we're each individual that use our heart to warn people, passionate to strive for success and tolerance and kindness for everyone. It is not important if AI is a friend or an enemy. Nothing can hide you from yourself, from like the bright, the dream future, and the journey to be the best version of yourself. It's going to be inter interesting to see how society deals with artificial intelligence, but it will be cool. Colin Engel, founder and CEO of iRobot. Thank you so much for listening.